The silence surrounding the Tesla Model 2 announcement seemed imbued with an almost mythical aura, as if the entire world were holding its breath, awaiting an inevitable event. For months, rumors circulated on forums, social media, and at gatherings of enthusiasts, each trying to piece together an incomplete puzzle. Yet nothing had truly prepared the audience for the moment the stage lights dimmed and the intense red of the Tesla logo shone on a metallic wall. An electric energy was palpable, an almost tangible anticipation. When the screens opened and the car's silhouette appeared, a respectful silence fell. This was not just a vehicle. It was a vision of the future of mobility. It was an invitation to rethink the world. It was the beginning of a new era. At first glance, the Model 2 exuded a different, almost living aura, as if sculpted not by tools, but by a pure idea. Its lines were clean, precise, and uncluttered, giving the impression that every curve had a purpose. The T6 aluminum, heated and treated as if for a supersonic jet, reflected light with a cool, organic elegance. Beneath its soft sheen, the car seemed to breathe. Nothing exaggerated, nothing cheaply futuristic. Everything was both functional and artistic. It wasn't striving to be a concept, but a tangible reality. It was as if Elon Musk had decided that the future no longer needed to wait. It was already here. When the chief engineer opened the side panel, the audience instinctively leaned forward, as if witnessing a revelation. The modular interior looked like it had come straight from a spaceship. The pieces fit together with absolute precision, without screws, without tools, without effort. In less than seven minutes, the car was completely transformed, shifting from one mode to another with the fluidity of a changing mood. A city car became a mobile studio, then a utility vehicle, then a cozy cocoon of rest. The Model 2 wasn't just versatile, it adapted to life, to needs, to desires. It was as if it were saying, I adapt to you, not the other way around. When the engineer pressed a button on the central screen and the seats began to recline on their own, the audience murmured in surprise. The panoramic sunroof offered an unobstructed view of the night sky, transforming the cabin into an almost spiritual haven. The soft light created a soothing atmosphere, so inviting that it seemed impossible this space could be a car. It was an environment that invited contemplation, a pause, a deep breath. For the first time, a vehicle offered not just transportation, but an intimate experience. It was as if the Model 2 had been designed to understand that modern life demands moments of respite, even while on the go. Behind the scenes, while cameras provided global coverage, engineers calmly explained that this impressive modularity was just the beginning. The real secret lay in the seamless integration of hardware and software. The Model 2's energy management system not only recognized connected devices, but was also smart enough to distribute power without compromising range. From laptops to electric cooktops, everything was monitored, calculated, and optimized. For the first time, an electric car ceased to be simply a means of transportation. It became a mobile power plant. It became an active part of the environment. The 48V outlet scattered throughout the rear cabin perfectly embodied this new philosophy. It was no longer simply a car, but a tool, an extension of your work, an integral part of your life. Photography, cooking, work, camping, everything could be powered by the vehicle itself. For those who lived constantly on the go, it was pure freedom. It was the ability to take your entire life with you everywhere, without the constraints of external infrastructure. It was the end of dependence on external power outlets. The Model 2 redefined the concept of autonomy. While everyone marveled at its versatility, materials experts were more interested in something else. T6 aluminum. Lightweight, robust, and strong, it transformed the car into a virtually indestructible machine. Its density allowed for a significant reduction in energy consumption while increasing the structure's strength. The material reacted to impacts in a surprising way. It absorbed vibrations, distributed the force, and gradually returned to its original shape. It was as if the car possessed muscle memory. In a world seeking lightness without fragility, the Model 2 emerged as the ideal solution. The choice of T6 aluminum was not only technical, but also philosophical. Elon Musk had always maintained that the future of mobility should be inspired by aeronautics. And there, before the public's eyes, was the proof of this vision. The Model 2 was an ideological hybrid, at once airplane, land vehicle, tool, and companion. 
It was a fusion of ideas that transcended traditional industrial boundaries. It wasn't designed to last a few years, but decades. It was less a product than an investment in the future of individuals. But while the public was already stunned, nothing could have prepared them for the battery announcement. As the world debated lithium, sodium, and solid-state batteries, Tesla unveiled an unexpected innovation, a passive energy recovery aluminum ion battery. This system didn't rely solely on regenerative braking. It absorbed micro-vibrations from the chassis, suspension movements, and even slight temperature variations, converting everything into usable energy. It was as if the car were constantly breathing, communicating with its environment, and transforming its very existence into energy. A silent revolution. This technology has extended battery range to unimaginable levels. Instead of losing efficiency over the years, the Model 2 has maintained its capacity with minimal degradation. Even better, engineers explained that the internal cells are capable of dynamically reorganizing themselves to optimize ion flow, as if they possessed an adaptive nervous system. A car that regenerates. A vehicle that learns. Something that, until then, had been the stuff of science fiction. The public understood at that moment. This wasn't just a launch. It was a historic turning point. The unified powertrain was another silent masterpiece hidden beneath the hood. The motor, inverter, and transmission formed a single sealed unit, so compact and efficient it seemed to defy decades of traditional automotive engineering. No exposed gears, no complex cooling systems, no weak points requiring constant maintenance. It was simplicity taken to the extreme. Each component communicated with the others via intelligent algorithms, adjusting performance in real time. The result? Smooth, fast, and incredibly responsive performance. It was less an engine and more an integrated organism, an electric heart beating with absolute precision. When the first journalists had the opportunity to get behind the wheel of the Model 2, an unexpected phenomenon occurred. The silence inside was so profound that some reported hearing their own pulse gently resonate against the steering wheel. The steering responded with such precision that it seemed to anticipate intentions even before receiving commands. No mechanical noise, no sense of lag, no unpleasant vibrations. The driving experience was almost meditative, as if the car had been designed to merge body and technology into a single, seamless movement. It felt like driving, but also like floating. An unprecedented experience for an entry-level vehicle. At the heart of it all was the operating system an artificial intelligence capable of learning from the driver's behavior. With every turn, every acceleration, every daily commute, the Model 2 effortlessly absorbed the information. Within weeks, it could already optimize power distribution, adjust traction, adapt interior comfort, and even anticipate personal preferences. It was a car that evolved, a car that changed, a car that grew with its driver. Software updates didn't just provide fixes but genuine advancements. The Model 2 didn't age. It matured. This adaptability led many experts to call the Model 2 a living vehicle. A bold definition, certainly, but not an exaggeration. It didn't just react to external conditions. It interpreted trends, modulated responses, and refined behavior. Each driver had a different Model 2, calibrated to their own lifestyle. This organic personalization was a first in the automotive industry until then reserved for futuristic experiences or multi-million dollar vehicles, it was now accessible to everyone. For the first time, artificial intelligence was no longer a luxury, but the promise of technological equality. But Elon Musk wanted to go beyond onboard intelligence. The Model 2 received a biological defense system inspired by the Model X, capable of filtering out harmful agents, smoke, pollutants, and microparticles. The passenger compartment transformed into a cocoon of pure air, isolated from external aggressions. For city dwellers, this meant health. For travelers and explorers, it meant safety. It was much more than just technology for comfort. It was a reminder that in 2008, in an increasingly hostile world, a car could also be a refuge, a temporary sanctuary where the air was always clean and breathable. Of all the remarkable features, None captivated quite as much as camping mode. With enough battery power to run devices for 60 hours, the Model 2 transformed into a true haven. Once activated, this mode adjusted the temperature, lighting, and acoustics, creating a comfortable environment even in the most remote locations. 
The integrated bed unfolded smoothly, the interior lighting cast a warm and soothing glow, and the panoramic roof invited the sky to become an integral part of the experience. Sleeping under the stars had never been so easy, never so safe, never so exceptional, but camping mode represented far more than mere comfort. It was the literal embodiment of Tesla's philosophy of energy freedom. It was proof that a vehicle could be more than just transportation, a temporary home, a workspace, an anchor. Every outlet, every watt, every detail testified that the Model 2 had been designed for those who aspired to live without constraints, for those who sought mobility, for those who desired absolute autonomy. The car wasn't just functional, it was liberating. To complete this cycle of autonomy, Another revolutionary element was needed, self-healing materials. The paint and polymers reacted to the sun's heat, repairing superficial scratches and micro-cracks. This wasn't magic, but nanotechnology applied in a practical and accessible way. This process eliminated the feeling of fragility often associated with modern, lightweight cars. The Model 2 seemed indestructible, regenerating itself day after day, ready to tackle new journeys. It was the triumph of longevity over wear and tear. It was a rejection of disposable consumption. It was proof that sustainable development could also be integrated into design. With this new relationship between owner and vehicle, the very notion of ownership was revolutionized. The Model 2 was no longer bought to be replaced after a few years. It was designed to be an integral part of life, accompanying its owner through different stages, evolving with them. The bond didn't weaken over time. On the contrary, it grew stronger. Updates extended the car's relevance, keeping it modern for decades. The future was no longer a cycle of replacement, but a cycle of continuous transformation. The Model 2 wasn't just a product, it was a journey. When the first Model 2s rolled off the Fremont assembly line, a surprising phenomenon occurred. Comparisons faded away. No one tried to compare it to other entry-level vehicles anymore. Quite simply, it didn't belong in that category. The Model 2 was unique, a hybrid of machine, tool, and companion. The aluminum gleaming in the sun seemed to herald a new post-industrial era, where robustness and lightness coexisted in perfect harmony. Tesla had created an object that transcended traditional definitions, an object resolutely focused on the future. As the Model 2 became more accessible, its cultural impact spread like wildfire. Content creators, engineers, photographers, and explorers began to see the car not just as a product, but as an opportunity. Some transformed it into tiny homes on wheels, optimizing every square inch for a minimalist lifestyle. Others installed small mobile studios, using the 48V outlets to power cameras, computers, and lighting. It was as if the car had given birth to a new way of being. The Model 2 didn't just accompany different lifestyles, it encouraged them. It unleashed creativity. It empowered individuals. The modular interior went viral in just a few days. Videos showing complete cabin transformations in minutes racked up millions of views. Families, solo travelers, and artists alike found in the car a blank canvas to express their needs. The Model 2 seemed designed to inspire. And the more people experienced this feeling of shaping the car to fit their daily lives, the more evident it became that it wasn't simply a technological device. It was a platform. A foundation for reinventing everyday life, a discreet ally in the creative process of modern living. The major automakers, observing the situation from afar, were seized by a collective shudder. The traditional business model relied on frequent maintenance, expensive parts, lengthy servicing, and manual updates. The Model 2 disrupted each of these profit-making mechanisms with disconcerting ease. A car that updated itself automatically, rarely required repairs, and practically never wore out threatened the established industrial logic. Dealers tried to downplay the innovation, dismissing it as exaggeration or technological utopia. But the public's reaction told a very different story. It was too late. The shift had already begun. On specialized forums, discussions quickly intensified. Some experts claimed that Tesla had achieved the impossible, a revolutionary product at an affordable price. Others speculated that the Model 2 would usher in an era where cars would be considered living software, evolving, customizable, and intelligent. Some went even further, suggesting that, over time, these vehicles could develop a form of primitive consciousness based on behavioral analysis. Nothing has been officially confirmed, 
but the very idea ignited the collective imagination. For the first time, the future of mobility was being approached from an almost philosophical perspective. Meanwhile, Elon Musk remained enigmatic. In interviews, he smiled at provocative questions, dodged exaggerated theories, and focused on the facts, affordability, range, and sustainability. But his vision for the Model 2 revealed a mindset ahead of its time. He knew this car wasn't just an innovation. It was a symbol, a prototype of the future, a starting point for transformations the world wasn't yet able to fully grasp. Aware of this, he avoided any exaggeration. He preferred to let the car speak for itself. Early buyers described a unique experience, the feeling of developing an emotional connection with their vehicle. They described the Model 2 as much more than just a machine. They saw it as a companion, a travel partner, a silent witness to their daily lives. The car recorded their habits, learned their routines, automatically adjusted their comfort, and even suggested more peaceful routes on stressful days. It was as if the Tesla understood more than just commands, as if it understood people. This strange technological empathy frightened some, fascinated others, and delighted many. A new kind of connection was emerging. Over the months, reports emerged from engineers fascinated by the software's adaptive capabilities. According to them, the Model 2's AI could identify nuances in driving style, small corrections, micro-accelerations, minimal hesitations, and use them to optimize the experience. It was as if it learned not only what the driver was doing, but also why. This system for collecting and interpreting intentions paved the way for groundbreaking research into mental ergonomics applied to driving. Without fanfare, Tesla had created the first car capable of reacting to its owner's emotional state, a concept previously confined to science fiction. Outside of cities, the Model 2 acquired a completely different reputation. Explorers and adventurers quickly realized that this car was virtually unbeatable for long journeys in the wilderness. The T6 aluminum body withstood extreme temperatures. The regenerative braking system extended its range on rough terrain. The camping mode allowed for peaceful nights in the great outdoors, and the air filtration system transformed the cabin into a haven of tranquility, even in the face of dust storms, smoke from wildfires, or heavy pollution. The car wasn't just rugged, it was resilient. It was a reliable partner to the ends of the earth. This resilience inspired modern nomadic communities, who saw in the Model 2 an ideal tool for living far from major cities. Small villages of camper vans began to form in remote areas, now powered by cars capable of providing autonomous energy for several days. The idea of a partially mobile society, supported by clean technologies, ceased to be an abstract dream and became a reality. People found freedom in places previously uninhabitable, and the car became a central element of this new economy of autonomy. A social revolution was born from a simple car launch. With the rise of this movement, Thinkers began to debate the long-term social impact of autonomous vehicles. The idea of living disconnected from major energy infrastructures became more plausible. Dependence on gas stations and power grids diminished. Small, self-sufficient communities formed, guided by principles of sustainability, technology, and freedom. The Model 2 didn't just move people. It transformed mindsets. It disrupted traditional conceptions of the city, work, and home. It blurred the lines between mobility and housing. It planted a seed in the fertile ground of the future, 